back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about one of the original nine free cities of Essos, known as Norvos. It's a city that features some odd characteristics, and not too many people know about it. So to start off, let me discuss a little bit about the government that runs the city. Norvos is built up on giant hills located next to the eastern banks of the Roaring River. The area has deep forests, and the citizens who live there are settled based on their financial and political status. It's split up into two different parts, the high city and the lower city. It's connected via a giant stone staircase called the Sinner Steps. Norvos is run by bearded priests and magisters. The priests have a keep approximately 300 feet above where the commoners live, and it is them that decide who governs the city. Magisters are chosen from the priests exclusively, making the local government a theocracy. The bearded priests are kind of like the septons in King's Landing. They have a faith militant of their own that polices Norvos. These guards wear capes of horsehair and carry long axes as their primary weapon. One thing helping out in the governing of the city is one of Norvos's most famous features, the Three Bells. These bells are what controls everyday life. With various unique rings, the bells sound to wake the city, send people to work, send people home, when to sleep, when to pray, and even when to engage in physical relations with their partner. I know, it sounds weird, and at the same time, it seems pretty effective, but I guess this leads us to the question, what is the religion that the bearded priests follow? Because the bells could somehow be tied in with their faith. Well, it turns out, nobody really knows the name of their god, except for the priests and their initiates. One reason this may be, is because when Norvos was created long ago, the leadership decided to keep the corruption of other religions out of the inner workings of the new city. And because of its location, Norvos has a lot of people filtering in and out, since travelers and caravans are often stopping by when going down the ancient Valyrian roads. Oh, and did I mention the bearded priests are outstanding warriors? They are like a fighter's guild of their own, training guards with expert long axe techniques that are apparently so beneficial, Dario even brags about being trained to fight like a Norvoshi priest. Ario Hota was trained by the bearded priest, before he came to Dorne with Malario as her guard when she married Doran Martell. Ario carries a long axe that is over six feet long, and after moving to Dorne, he became the captain of Dorne's guards. That says a lot for his combat skills since we know Dornish warriors are pretty top notch. But back to the priests for a second, I should also mention that they inflict harm on themselves and each other, most likely so that they can become accustomed to pain. All in all, compared to the faith militant, the bearded priest and the guards they train seem to not only be successful in their pursuits, but also a regime that cannot be stopped. For a period of time, fans weren't too sure what would happen to the crown in King's Landing when the Faith Militant had its uprising during Tommen's reign, but after the explosion of the Great Sept, it looks like the Faith of the Seven won't be a huge threat to Cersei and her plans for the realm. Norvos has stayed pretty much the same since its creation, with priests controlling everything that goes down in the city. Other than the people pulling the strings, there is also normal citizens who live there. The jobs you can expect to find people doing in Norvos are mining, smithing, and even textile work. Norvos is known for their tapestry and axes, hence the primary weapon of the priests and guards. Because of its location, Norvos experiences harsh winters and harsh summers, and for entertainment, bears are said to dance on the center steps. Like I said before, it's an odd place. And it's only one of the nine free cities. I thought many of you would get a kick out of Norvos and all of the peculiar things taking place there. Unfortunately, the main storyline doesn't really focus around the odd city, so we haven't seen it in the show. Anyway, if you like this video and you want to see more about the other free cities, let me know in the comments. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.